Hey everybody, so today I am here to give you guys a review of the Juju B Be Prepared diaper bag. First, I'm just going to give you some of the details about the bag, then show you guys all the features that it offers, and then at the end, give you my thoughts, opinions, and experience. So just to start off, the price of these varies depending on whatever collection you buy from, basically. It's between $180 to $200. You'll notice by the different hardware what kind of collection it's from. So mine has a gold hardware, so it's from Legacy. Black is Onyx, and there's also now a rose gold collection and a lot of different other ones. Like I said, it's just gonna depend on what collection you buy from, what your price point is gonna be. But as far as retailers, they are really everywhere now. They are on Amazon, Bye Bye Baby, Target, and they are also in a lot of boutiques. I have a lot of local mom and baby boutiques that carry Jujube, which I think is really cool, but you can definitely still find them online. And I did wanna say they are on sale quite a bit on Amazon, just depends what print and style you're looking for. But I've seen the bag that we're looking at right now go for $150 on Amazon. And you can also use 20% off coupons from Bye Bye Baby or even Bed Bath & Beyond on their products too. And of course there's also Jujubee's own website. And then as far as dimensions, I'm just going to put them across the bar right here so you guys can read them instead of listening to them. But the fabric is also treated, so it is antimicrobial and antibacterial, which is really awesome. I'm sure there's people who keep their diaper bags in pristine shape, but I really appreciate that because I'm throwing dirty diapers, you know, food, spoiled sippy cups I find in my car into my diaper bag so it's nice to know that and I also want to mention that the bags are machine washable and then lastly for the prints this particular print is in Queen of the Nile however they come in a variety of different prints like I said they have different collections so it really anything that you're looking for you can find it whether you want all black or something floral something funky they also do a lot of tokidoki if you're into those kind of things so just whatever you're looking for you can really find it when it comes to jujube and now i'm just going to go over the features of the bag so in the front here there are straps i don't utilize them often there is a snap right here that's keeping it from coming out but I tend not to use them. I have them tucked away just because I like other methods, but shoulder straps are there for you. There's a tiny bit of padding in there, but like I said, I keep them tucked away just because I don't use them, which is nice because I like that option. If I'm not gonna use something, I like that I can just kind of put it away and it's not really a feature of the bag. In the front here, we do have the big mommy pocket. I think I would venture to say it's the biggest mommy pocket. You do have the two little photos down here, sunglasses case, a nice little cinch pouch, mesh pouch, and then two mesh elastic and then also a fob for your keys. So it is a huge mommy pocket, but I will say if you're gonna bulk this up, it's gonna bulk the front of your bag up. I never really put a lot. There's also gussets on the side, but you know, it's there, it's roomy if you need it. So there is that. And like you guys saw, there is a front pocket. I typically kept my stroller straps in here along with just, you know, the tucked away shoulder strap. But again, if you bulk this up, it's gonna bulk the front of your bag up. So. There's that. And then as far as bottle pockets, they have two magnetic kind of closures for the bottle pockets. And you can also tuck these in. So if your bottle on a rare occasion isn't or is too tall for the flap, you can just tuck it away and it'll sit down inside there. It's not gonna be loose or anything. It feels really nice and secure in there. Both sides are the same. As you can see, I already have that one tucked away. And then there is the messenger strap that I have attached to it. I just preferred to carry this bag this way. You cannot move the um, shoulder strap, so you kind of just have to put your perfect placement as far as, you know, how it hangs on you with the different hardware that's available because this thing's not gonna move into place for you. But I kind of like that because it doesn't slip and slide everywhere. So there's that. And then on the very back of the bag, there is also one more pocket, again with a button. And I just have the um, change pad in here. So this is an extra large change pad. It's bigger than the other ones you'll find in um, some of the other bags, but that is because the Be Prepared is a very large bag, so it has a very large change pad. And again, I just have my shoulder strap tucked back here. The button, I don't know. I like these snaps, but again, I kind of wish they were magnetic. I'm not sure how much they would hold if they were magnetic, but now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the inside of the bag. 
Okay, so I have the bag wide open for you guys to see what it has. And this is with the zippers completely down here on the side. It does have two. It does have gussets on the side, so it's going to fall a little bit open as you can see, but that's the extent of how far it will go. It does have pockets on all sides of the bag, and I will walk you through that. I did want to show you something really quickly, though, before I just leave this open the entire time. If you want to, and what I did a lot of the time with my Be Prepared, I kept it open like this in the top. I took this top flap and I tucked it behind this pocket. So you can actually just reach down inside and get whatever you need. I really like to do that. I thought I would show you really quickly before I just kind of showed you everything else since we were already talking about the zippers. So like I said, there is this huge pocket right here. So if you are not gonna put that little flap in there, you do have this available for something else. And then right in front of that, you do have mesh pockets. You have a rather long one right here, and then you do have a little bit more of a narrow one, and it repeats on this side as well. So you have a long pocket over here, there we go. Now you guys are in frame. So you have a long one over here and then you have a more narrow one right there. And they are also kind of fabric coated, if you want to call it that. So this side has tags that look like this. And then this side had tags that look like that in case you want to just like divvy things up per kid or something like that. I don't know, whatever you want. And then over here on each side, there are again, like longer, deeper kind of mesh pockets with a cinch as well. So that's available. And that is it as far as the inside storage goes. Of course, this is a really deep bag, so you have a lot of space just right in the middle to pack this bag up. But yeah, that is everything that's going on inside the bag. Okay, so that is it as far as features go. So now I just wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts and opinions. And I'll just kind of give you a little bit of background if you don't know. I actually got this diaper bag in preparation for having two kids under two. My oldest daughter was going to be one and a half when our youngest was born. I was an overpacker with my oldest and I knew with having a toddler who was still in diapers, going to have a newborn who was obviously in diapers, and just how I normally pack, I wanted something that was bigger. This was my first ever Jujube product. It was the first time I ever spent a significant amount of money on a diaper bag. I was kind of nervous, but I'm really glad that I did. There's a lot of different features about the bag that I love, but it's mainly just the space. I could have fit everything that I carried for the girls in other diaper bags and it would have been packed full and it would have worked. But I like that this was able to have a lot of stuff in it, but I could still have room to look for things without it feeling like a crammed packed mess that I had to like put stuff somewhere else just to find something. So I really liked this bag. It worked well for me. I know a lot of people have reservations because it's a big bag. It's got some weight on its own because it is a structured bag. So there's a little bit of weight to it already without anything in it. But personally, that doesn't bug me. I carried huge oversized purses before I was ever a mom, so I'm kind of into the oversized bag look. As a woman who is average height but plus size weight, I would say that I had no problem carrying this bag. It was comfortable for me. I didn't mind it. Like I said, I majority of the time, I would say like 99.9% .9 I use the messenger strap. Just the most comfortable for me. I prefer to wear any and all diaper bags that way, but I think it was just mainly the space that really sold me on the Be Prepared. It was very simple looking. It doesn't have a ton of different pockets and it's not got a whole bunch going on, but it does on the inside and it's got organization, but not too much at the same time, if that makes any sense. It just had a very delicate balance for me. It gave me features that I wanted without giving me stuff I wouldn't use. It had enough pockets without having too many to even know what to do with. And it was also a huge help when I grew out of caring so much for both the girls. You know, obviously as your kids get older, you tend to carry less and less for them. But Remy was really medically needy for a long time during her infancy. So even though I was caring less for Sophie and even sometimes less for Remy, I would carry more of Remy's medical needs, different bottles, different thickeners and stuff like that. I would also put my pumping stuff in there because I was an exclusive pumper. If you're looking at this bag and you need to have it as a multi-purpose or you have, you know, several children, you're an overpacker, I definitely recommend it. You know, if you're not into heavy bags, if you're not into big bags, you know, you're a minimalist packer, you could use this as an overnight bag somewhere, but you're probably not gonna get the use out of it as if you were, you know, 
person who was in one of those other categories but I personally love this bag I will never get rid of it I don't plan on ever having two under two again but I can find other uses for it. I do use it as an overnight bag for my girls now, and it's just really nice to have. I just, I think it's great. Even as a hospital bag, luggage for yourself, this thing does not scream diaper bag. I would carry this in a heartbeat all by myself if I had somewhere to go, but I don't go anywhere without my kids, so it tends to be their bag still, but all around, I just really love this. It's a quality bag. I've never had a problem with my GGBs. They hold up well. I pack a crap ton in them and they hold up nicely. This is white. It might be a little hard to come up on camera, but it's a black chevron with white in between and I've never had any kind of staining issues or trouble with that. I don't know. I just really, really love this bag. Can't say enough good things about it. If you're on the fence, definitely let this push you over the edge. You need this bag. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.